Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. In this video, we'll be continuing the series of videos on the tool axis control options within the simultaneous five axis milling toolpad. Uh, so in this video, we'll be talking about tilt through curve. So tilt through curve is a little different than some of the other options in that it's no longer using the surface normal or the one of the axes. It's actually just going to use the tool vector and some contact points. So what do I mean by that? So let's take a look at this surface here. Now, as this thing moves around, you can see there's the draft angle in one direction, a draft angle in another direction, and three three faces basically right here. So if you were to try and use the surface normal, you probably could, uh, but let's say you didn't want to look and try and figure out surface normals and what angle and whatnot. You just know that if the tool was just away from the wall, just by a little bit, it would clear. And that's basically what th through curve is, is uh, enabling you to do. So um, essentially what happens with tilt through curve is the contact point of the tool forms one point, and then the vector, the tool vector, the angle of the tool, tool axis, passes through the curve, and that gives you your angle. So if you sketch a, uh, any kind of sketch like you have here, it could be a spline, arcs, lines, and whatnot, you're basically telling SolidCam, contact the surface that we're trying to machine, but also pass through that curve there. So this is a better representation here. In this part file, what we're doing is we're actually just kind of cleaning up the, the, the bottom there, this, this filleted edge here, but without touching what was already machined up here. Take a look at that toolpath in the tool axis control section. It's literally just tilt through the curve. And then in this submenu, it just says what angle from the curve, in this case, is just zero degrees. Zero tilted to the z axis. So we still want to know what angle we want to pass through, what angle we want to take as we pass through that curve. And the curve itself is just that chain on the top there. And what that gives us, if we just step through the code, is a toolpath that allows for the contact with the surface, but the tool vector, as you can see there, just passes through that curve there. So again, very simple option where we're basically just saying, we'd like it to engage the surface, but pass through that line. And this is a really easy one to use if you don't know what angle to put it at. You don't know where the surface normal is, or maybe even if the surface was a badly translated surface and the surface normal is very erratic, it doesn't, it doesn't come out at a proper angle or whatnot. This is simply just using the contact tip of the tool and whatever uh, sketch you've drawn. So it's more on the sketching side than anything else. But again, those can usually be done using some of the sketch options inside SOLIDWORKS, specifically offset, and maybe even creating some flame. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and in this 5-axis series. Thanks for watching.